Yo guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make low poly fire inside Blender. I'm using right click select for the tutorial. And if you'd like to see what I'm clicking, just check in the bottom right. Cool. So here I am over in Blender. And what I'm going to do is just first off, I'm just going to take this cube and I'm going to go to front view. And then I'm going to go control two. So that will add a subdivision surface like this. Press tab to go to edit mode and then Z wireframe. So here, I'm just going to move this down. So I can just drag select by holding left select, uh, left click, and then I can just extrude out. So we're just creating the shape of the fire. So you can just extrude it like this. So you just get some random shape. Uh, you can just get whatever kind of looks good, like this. And you can also go to side view and rotate parts and G to move them, like that. Okay. Then what you're going to do is go to the modifiers tab. So a lot of this is just going to be using the modifiers. So go add a displace modifier. So this is going to be the main flames and then we'll add like the red flames inside of it later. So first off, add a displace modifier, click on new and add coordinates to object. Okay. And then go to this little tab, which is the texture tab and change this to clouds. Okay. So obviously this is not what fire looks like. Um, so go to the size and just drag that up. So we'll add in some details later. So we just want to make this big like that and then go add a empty plane axis and then drag this all the way over like that. Okay. Now go to the modifiers and choose empty. Okay. Now select this, go do the first frame. So make sure you're over here. You can just go click on this little button. If you go all the way to the first frame, just go R rotation. And you can see over here, we have zero, zero, zero for our rotation. So let's go R, Y, or well actually go forward to like frame 90 and go R, Y, 360. Okay, then go R, o rotation. And you can see now we have some sort of like animation in it. Okay, and then if you want to get it to loop, just change the end frame to 18 down. Okay, so now we'll have a perfect loop like this. Okay. And then you can even drag up the strength or change the size of the thing, the texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to go add another displace modifier, click on new, go to textures again, and then we're going to drag this. So you want to make sure that we're on texture 001 and drag the size down like this and then change the strength, this whole shift. So then we need to select this uh, ob uh, was it object again. I'll do it to change this to object and go to empty. And then now you can see we have like an animating fire. Now you can see this, uh, maybe that's too tall, let's drag down. Um, and maybe I don't want this to rotate on the Y, I want it to rotate on the X. So let's go to here, R, X, 3, X, 360, R, rotation. And then we can delete the keyframe. So we can, oh, actually, if we delete the keyframe, go zero and 360 and press R. So now, maybe that doesn't work. Let's try rotating on the Z axis. So go here, just change the rotation to zero and this to 360. Maybe this is too fast. So we can just go change the length to like, I don't know, 120. Let's just go 119 and then just drag this to frame 120. Um, you could also change like the scale or the strength of them. And then you just have to switch between them on these two. Okay. That looks okay. So you just have to mess around with these until you get something that you like. My camera died, so whatever. We'll just continue with this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go uh, go to the materials and then scroll down to the settings and click on back face culling. Basically what this does is it will move any uh, normal. So if you like scroll in, you can see it's completely see-through and if back face culling is off, we can see the back because faces have two sides. So what we can do is just go to edit mode and go to mesh, normals, and then flip. Okay, and now you can see, we can see the inside of it. So what we do now is go to shading and then we're gonna go add a gradient, a gradient texture like this and put it over here. We're gonna plug this into emission. Okay, and now you'll see uh, never mind, it doesn't show up. Whatever. You can just control shift left click it if you have Node Wrangler and you can see it actually is here. So we're going to press control T. If you have to have Node Wrangler uh, enabled, just go to edit preferences and add-ons and enable it there. You just have to type it in. What you can do is just go rotate 
on the var 90. So you can see now we have the black at the bottom and white at the top. So now what we can do is we can go uh, just get rid of this. I'm just holding control right click and then go add a color ramp like this. Okay. And you can also plug this into the base color like this and then control shift left click like that or just plug it in. Then what we can do is we can add the colors for our fire. So do the bottom be like an orange and the top be like a yellow. You can also drag this on the X axis. So just go X and you can just drag it up. Okay. And then let's go to Z in rendered view and drag the roughness up. What we can do is add some bloom. So just click on bloom here and then drag up the emission strength. And then you may have to mess around with the colors like that. And maybe just mess around with the scale bit just to get it to work properly. Cool, like that. And then we can go here, uh, just select this main part, shift D to duplicate and scale it down. And then what we can do is go to solid view so we can see which one you selected. So it's actually the middle one. And then we're going to go and click on this little two. Okay. And then now that makes it its own material. So now we can change these colors. So at the bottom, I want it to be like dark red. At the top, I want it to be like orange. So uh, make sure you're in rendered view so you can actually see what the colors will look like. Cool. There. So you can just mess around with all of them. Maybe make this more bit yellow. So that it kind of like blends in. And you can maybe just drag this down. And then also go to the material tab and go to settings and turn off back face culling on or actually just leave it on its fun. It looks better. And there you go. So make sure you save your file. So I'm just going to save it. Fire blend. And now we have some fire. Uh, if you want the second one, we could go and add some different textures to add a different like offset. But it looks fine for me. And as if you want to make it a campfire, just go add some simple cylinders and you can get something sim similar to this. If you want another tutorial, click over here to see that video. Cheers.